What's up guys? Welcome back to Cherokee Hacks Life. So I wanted to talk about a little bit about my progression and the different workouts that I'm doing that I'm progressing through in the gym. I get a couple questions on this like, you know, when am I benching? How long before I bench properly? Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to put one out on bench pressing as well and what I feel might be corrections in your technique that probably led to you tearing your, your uh, labrum in the first place. Um, I see uh, Ogus is actually putting up videos on kind of some mobility stuff. It's actually pretty decent what he actually put up. Um, it works for him. I can't say it'll probably work for you. Uh, I know that any physical therapy whatsoever, and I've gotten this question a couple times too, physical therapy versus surgery. And in fact, I just saw uh, an article that one of my subscribers sent me that was, you know, it's almost the same thing. I can assure you. Physical therapy, a lot of times, man, if it's torn, it's fucking torn, man. There's, there's very little you could do. Um, what I have heard of is for bodybuilders, what they wind up doing when they tear their labrum, they try to recruit other muscles to take on the bear of the labrum. Uh, it's successful for some. For some, it's not successful. Um, if you're watching one of these videos, then probably it's not successful for you. Go ahead, try physical therapy. I haven't heard too many successes from it. Um, but, hey, give it a shot. I know I tried it. Shit sucked, didn't do shit. And I was on my first shoulders. I said, fuck it, let's just do a surgery on the other one. So, here we go, guys. I'm going to try to make this as short as possible. It's kind of long in that I'm kind of showing you guys three different time frames. Uh, I'm showing you eight weeks after I recovered from surgery, or eight weeks after surgery, ten weeks after surgery, and fourteen, which is actually about, I think it was last week, and how I've progressed throughout. So let's kind of dive into these videos real quick, and we'll go right into them. Check them out. So you guys might remember this. This was the first post-surgery workout video that I actually put up, and honestly, it's very straightforward. I just could not put the damn bar properly on my back. Couldn't do it. My shoulders, I, I couldn't get the range of motion that I needed. My arm, no matter how much I fucked around with the bar, oh, maybe the bar is not even. No, it just doesn't matter. My arm just would not bend into the proper location to allow me to hold on to a bar in a squat position. It's just, it's an awkward position to start with, and you need to have that mobility in order to actually hold on to it. And it's fucking exhausting. It actually really did hurt to try to put it into that position. So here we are 10 weeks after surgery, and I try it again, this is just two weeks later, and again, this is me just doing all the stretches that I've been showing you guys throughout. I do them on a pretty consistent basis, and here I am just doing squats. It's still a little uncomfortable. It's a little bit higher on my back, you know, pretty much my fucking lower neck at that point, if you guys kind of see here. It's a little bit higher than I'd like it to be. And if you notice my left arm, I can't fully bend it all the way back and I can't get the full arch that I want. But I wanted to try it out, kind of get that feeling of the motion. I'm like, all right, cool, I can at least do the movements. It doesn't, it hurt, honestly, at this point, just a little bit. But I also wanted to show in this same progression or in this same video, I wanted to show what it would be like if I just put some weights on it. So again, I can't bend my arm. I don't have the mobility at two weeks, uh, 10 weeks, excuse me and you probably won't have the mobility either. Look, I'm trying to put it onto my back and I just can't. My arm physically won't let me bend back without just being in pain from the stretching feeling that you get when you have to put the bar up on your back. So if you notice, I'm trying, I'm trying, and it just fucking hurts. It's just me pushing back and it's just not happening, man. I just can't put it back to the spot that I want it and I just feel like I'm just gonna injure myself more, so. I just put it back and it's exhausting, so kind of just stretch out after that. 14 weeks after surgery, here we go, all right? I'm finally to the point that I should actually put weight on it. So I was trying, trying, trying with no weight. Finally got to the point where I couldn't get any, didn't have to, um, finally got to the point where I was doing it without weights that I figured, okay, let me try to put weight on it and I'm almost 98% at the point that I wanted on my back. It's not perfect. But at 14 weeks, I'm seeing significant progression just in that six week period, um, which is good, guys. I mean, again, this is major surgery. Your labrum, you know, people think that physical therapy will work. In my honest opinion, man, I haven't, 
I haven't seen too much success from just trying to do physical therapy. And that's just not for myself, that's other people that have subscribed and sent me emails like, hey, I'm doing physical therapy before I do my, my, my labrum surgery and it's not doing shit. Well, guess what, it's not going to. So, here you go, I'm actually squatting. I wanna show you guys from the back. If you notice, I'm finally level on my back. It's finally there. My arms are in the proper position. It just needs to go a little bit further back or take on a little bit more weight going back so that way I so that way I can put a little bit more weight than what I'm currently at. I progressed a little bit in this one. So if you notice I'm at what is this 125 pounds or something like that on the bar or 195? I don't even know what it is. It's not 95. It's like a, this is 125 pounds to see what we have. So again I put on a little bit extra weight and you guys, again, I just wanted you guys to see the progress that can be made with all the stretches that I'm putting up for you guys. Um, and then slowly start working back to getting to the squat rack, start working on the squat rack. And every single time you're in the gym, just get on the squat rack and try to stretch with the bar, no weight, and just try to do that actual movement. Again, if you notice my the right side of your screen, that's my left arm, it's not 100% where I want it to be. If you notice my right hand it's actually gripping the bar right the left arm is still just a little bit off it feels good though but it's just a little bit off I'm trying to get it back there and I'm hoping probably by the end of this run probably around 18 weeks um, it should be about a hundred percent I'm still at about 95 percent on my rotation and everything it kind of feels good everything I feel very very little discomfort the only time right now, and I kind of go into this into the chest video a little bit more, is that I'm feeling discomfort is when I'm doing a chest press, or excuse me, a bench press. Chest press, not so much, but on the bench press, it, it does put, I think, a little bit of additional strain on the AC joint that's compensating for my shoulder blade trying to fire at the same time as my labrum and everything. So I'll kind of go into that in, in the video with the chest press or, or with the chest exercises and how I feel it should be done. But otherwise, guys, again, this is kind of just some simple progression. This is from 8 weeks to 14 weeks, and hopefully it's kind of helping you guys out. You know, I'm uh, really appreciative of all the, uh, all the kudos I'm getting on the video. Again, I just did this really to try to help you guys out, and so far it seems to be uh, what's helping everyone the most. You know, as always, subscribe, guys. Comment on my Facebook. Comment down below if you want as well. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. I try to answer them as quickly as I can. Uh, some days it'll go like a day, other days it'll go just a couple minutes, a couple hours. Just depends on how hectic my day is. As always, guys, uh, just uh, hit me up on Facebook, give it a thumbs up, share the video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Talk to you later.